thank you, everybody. Thanks for the warm welcome. And thank you for bringing me to Copenhagen. Uh, what a fantastic city. But I'm not going to talk about Hope Copenhagen today. I'm going to tell you about a different favorite city of mine, which is Dallas, Texas. Now, those of you who may know Dallas, Texas might find that a strange choice for a favorite city. But there's actually a simple reason why I'm so fond of Dallas, and I'm going to show you that reason right now. This is the Renaissance Tower in Dallas. And the reason I'm showing you this is because for many years, this was the headquarters of the Blockbuster Corporation. <laughs> and more importantly, in the year 2000, a very interesting meeting took place there. Now, in 2000, Netflix was very different than the company you might know today. We were very small. We were about two and a half years old. We had less than 100 employees, and we were on track to perhaps do $3 million that year. But unfortunately, we were also on track to lose a cumulative $50 million. And being prudent entrepreneurs, we decided at that point it was time to seek strategic alternatives. And the obvious strategic alternative was Blockbuster. But in 2000, they were on a very different trajectory. So we were on track to do three million. Blockbuster was on track to do six billion dollars. We had 100 employees. They had 60,000 employees. They had 9,000 stores. And so when we tried to call them up to get a meeting, they wouldn't even take our calls. They wouldn't answer our emails until finally, after a bunch of pounding on the door, they said, we will see you now. And we flew to Dallas. We went up to the 27th floor of this building. We were ushered into a conference room, which seemed to be about the size of this room. All the blockbuster guys came in in their very expensive suits, and we were there in our Silicon Valley t-shirts and jeans. And we all sat down to pitch. And we said, it's great. We will do the online business. You'll do the stores. We'll have synergy. Won't that be great? And they shook their heads in the right place. And then they asked the big question, how much should we pay for you? And my partner, Reed, uh, screwed up his courage. And he said, f f $50 million? And that's exactly the rea reaction that they had. <laughs> So the meeting went downhill very quickly after that, and it was a long, quiet ride on the plane back home to California. And I remember so distinctly sitting there quietly, just thinking, oh, now we're going to have to kick their ass. <laughs> <laughs> 